Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. So I know Solo and the Gauntlet has been out for quite a few days now, but getting these like detailed research level of videos does take a little while to get all that footage, do the research obviously. Um, so I hope you bear with me in the first few days when these new things come out because one of my aspects of YouTube is providing you with the actual footage and not just talking about it. Um, so yeah, I hope you uh, see just how much detail and footage I got for you in this video. It's, um, yeah, I'm hoping to make this a series with all the new type of, like, legend locations they do. And yeah, we're gonna basically cover absolutely everything. So, now the first thing I've kind of done is provide a map of the location with all the ammo. So you've got the normal map like this, and it doesn't show you any of the loot, right? So I made up a little map giving you an example of how the loot is laid out if you want to take a screenshot you've got the supply crates the light ammo represents normal floor loot the green ammo represents the special item in the middle and then you've obviously got the uh, octane jump pads on the map they're the uh, automatic ones that are always there now going on with how to land first so there's a few different styles of landing and the first one that most people tend to do is they'll land in front of it and then quickly walk on and jump up so this has a lot of risks to it like here if if you're matching with people you they might beat you to the punch so we want to take risk out of the equation because sometimes you'll be left jumping around a place with nothing the first tip is to obviously line your landing up and slide straight into the jump pad like so the next one is you can do this at quite an angle i came in at like a good 45 degree angle here i managed to curve around the pole and still slide in so don't think you can't slide in just because you're at quite an angle and then if you want to do like a um a curve while you hit it at direct like i did here i didn't slide into it i just went straight to the jump pad and kind of curved to the left but here is the ultimate tip here is why no one has beaten me to the ring in over three four days like no one seriously I, I get here first every single time just jump straight down onto the ring it's literally that simple so everyone's afraid to jump onto the ring because they're like oh no it's fire it burns and it, it literally does like one or two damage per second so it's kind of like yeah i'm just gonna land on the ring grab it before you guys can even jump on it and i do this over and over and over again I, I seriously haven't been beaten in a few days so and i've only seen two other people do that tip it's probably one of the best tips in the video and to be honest i always go for the middle ring because i know i can get there the majority first time and because i come out for like purple armor or saying you can have a bit of fun it's uh, just relax have a boxing match or something um but what can you get from this ring as you can see purple armor is probably the most free you get all the different type of backpacks except for common you can get blue purple and of course the legendary now you can also get every single type of gold weapon so as you can see in these two clips i get the p2020 i absolutely loved this weapon in the beginning um you can also get the re45 and um, this had a recent buff that was actually really nice you can also get the alternator that's probably my favorite to find at the beginning and then you've also got the mozambique and i really need to practice my aim with the mozambique but the flat line as well and then the res shield if you've seen any different type of like items in there definitely let me know and now we're moving on to movement so this entire location has bounce pads everywhere and the movement in this i love because the bounce pads allow you to get into a location and get out very quickly so like right here i didn't have any weapons after getting the shield right so i bounced into where enemies were quickly grabbed some weapons and slid out and basically this high mobility area allows like people even in the weakest of situations to dip out kick themselves out and like here get a triple kill like simply by just yeah being a bit sneaky about everything the jump pads are insanely useful now a few tips obviously they're going to be very predictable like here i'm shooting the gibraltar and then as i jump through he's shooting me and in those moments it just kind of comes down to who is the better shot um but 
I would obviously advise if you can do a bit of damage before you slide over and these jump pads are perfect for countering people that are healing at long distance because you can damage them and then like use the jump pads to get in there before they have time to fully heal up like they're obviously be able to pop one or two now if you also like jump on these you get that extra height so on this one you usually go straight through but if you jump you're going to end up on the roof it's a little bit harder to time when you're actually landing down onto the jump pads and you try and jump it then rather than walking into the jump pads and jumping off of it that way for some reason it's a little bit more trickier to do but as you saw it is definitely possible now you've also got this middle jump pad and basically a lot of these jump pads will allow you to get on top of like these high buildings like as you can see the middle and the two back ones i can get onto either side of the buildings absolutely easily with a bit of like air strafing and that jump mechanic it's really efficient and a lot of people are underestimating it i'm seeing people use these jump pads but not using the jump uh, like extra boost to get on top of the middle buildings like those middle buildings i will be up there a lot and people won't push unless they like grapple up or climb up and these bounce pads can like counter all of that you've also got these like jump pads at the back end and these are good there's not any specific jump motions that i'd recommend with them but they're they're good for like obviously that back area where there's a ton of loot and you can get onto people but i'd just say like try out these jump pads and different routes you can take as you can see here you can like connect different jump pads together to get a bit of a train going on so definitely like practice it yourself now the balloon has been moved slightly over towards airbase but you can use this to essentially get on top of these out of bound areas and the out of bounds areas is a little bit glitchy at the moment sometimes it doesn't even say that you're out of bounds um, but as you can see yeah when you get out of bounds you can like use that to your advantage jump down now if you're playing as pathfinder you can also zip line up to near the top you can't do it to the very top it can like you can do it about 10 or 20 feet below and then you can grapple up the rest of the way and as you saw here um, a path another pathfinder saw me do it tried to follow up and it ended up being an easy bait system um, you can do this all around the entire of the gauntlet area on all of the giant out of bound locations it's something i've done many times since um hot drop i've been i've literally landed here about a hundred times already i've been landing here nearly every single game just trying to get this footage get all the research figure out all the little tips and tricks um because this place is like a brilliant new legend type location and i really can't wait for the next ones to come out like imagine a pathfinder zipline roller coaster area that's just going to be crazy um but yeah with these zip lines you can easily get up to these like out of bound areas it's going to be good in squads if you've got a whole team doing this but they're not going to be able to grapple up the rest of the way um so yeah it's only really pathfinder accessible unless other legends use the balloon to land up there but then it's kind of a bit slow as you can see here i had a bit of a unique situation where the death box actually got caught in the banner and i had to do a bit of trickery to get to it now another little tip is to basically at this new location insane travel speed you need to be expecting the third party don't just rely on your ears and your sight and be like i can't hear anyone i can't see anyone just assume that there's someone nearby just be ready because this is the new skull town this is a massive hot drop location and because of the insane travel speed people can be on top of you before you even realize it um, something I've done recently is turn my volume up a lot more. I turn the music down, SFX is up to 100, um, and it allows me to hear people that are trying to third party me before they get within range where they can hear me. It's, um, it's a bit of a handy little tip just to have that volume up because, yeah, it's, it's useful. Um, but now, essentially, something else is like right here, you can see I'm chasing this uh, wraith down in the storm, and because it is a new location, people aren't going to be exactly used to the map so as you can see here this wraith has literally just 
killed herself, walked off the edge because she's not used to this new area. So just be extra careful. And yeah, it's going to be some funny times noobs make a mistake. Now, the final tip is with these big building areas, you can shoot through the gaps in the roof. Like they're not directly on top, but when you stand out on these poles, I've used it a lot and it really, really is effective. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have any gauntlet tips yourself. Let everyone know in the comments. And yeah, other than that, hope you enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. And I'll catch you all later. Peace. Hi, YouTube. Please leave a subscribe and drop a fat like.